Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. Last time, when we left off, after a whole lot of work, we had finally jettisoned the Beta Grove and gotten rid of Shodan's virus, only to discover that her new plan is to download herself onto Earth's network through the four antenna relays on the engineering level. We took a little side trip to storage to pick up four plastique explosives, and we have now arrived on the engineering level with the objective of destroying those relays to stop Shodan's download. Uh, enemies on level 7. There are... Uh, this is the most complicated level in the game in terms of respawning enemies. There are lots of them, is what I mean. First, there's one auto bomb in the northeast corner of the level, and Every time it explodes, it's replaced with another auto bomb. There's no way to stop that from happening. Second, Security One bots. There are 15 to start with. We can kill 10 of them. If their population dips below 5, they will respawn throughout the level. Third, Cyborg Warriors. At the outset, there can be either six or seven of them. It's variable. If their population drops below five, some more of them will spawn. So unless I physically count seven of them, I can only kill one. Fourth, yes, there's a fourth category, are cyborg enforcers. And there are two features to this. 13 cyborg enforcers exist at the outset and I can kill 10 of them. If their population drops below 3, there will be a respawn. However, the other feature is that, in addition to their own native population, there are 10 cyborg assassins around the level. Every time I kill a cyborg assassin, two cyborg enforcers spawn in. So I need to simultaneously track how many assassins I kill, and add two to the running total of enforcers, ultimately realizing I can't drop their population below three. So to recap, auto bombs, I can't kill any. Cyborg enforcers, I can kill 10 and add two to that number every time I kill a cyborg assassin. Cyborg warriors, I can only kill one. Security one bots, I can kill 10. This is as far as I've gotten in the past. I should mention that too. The game's difficulty takes a pretty dramatic spike upward here on level seven. And so I'm going to ask you to bear with me and forgive me if things get rough. Now, with all of that said, let's also remember that we are still vulnerable as we leave the elevator and get moving. Three, three meta patches in the crate at the outset. That's pretty good. There's a camera on my map, but I remember things getting pretty hairy right away. I'm practically drowning in mag pulse ammo now, so I can kill that security one bot with it. All right, I can kill nine of those now. There, immediately above me, is a cyborg assassin. See him? That's not working, so let's get out my Magnum. I actually don't have a whole lot of ammo for this. Let's try my Fletchette instead. Well, that didn't seem to work too well either. I've got more splinter clips. Okay, <clears throat> so killing that assassin raised the total number of enforcers to 15. So I can kill I can kill nine security one bots 
and I can kill 12 cyborg enforcers. That's all good to know. Let's turn on my jump jet. Get up onto the platform that way. He dropped a Teflon-coated pistol bullet and a standard pistol clip. And we can destroy that camera in the corner, drop level security to 98%. There's a log on the ground. Hessman, March 16th, 2072. Yeah, listen. Personnel complains that there's no access to the local port of the Gamma Quad. Get someone to fix the door, or get him a rope ladder or something. I'm running down for an energy recharge just because using my jump jet and getting onto that platform devoured my energy. Better. Oh, as an aside, whenever we run into another cyberspace terminal, I finally did figure out how to use my software programs, and no surprise, they are pretty handy. So they should help a lot in the game's remaining cyberspace terminals. Okay. Where was I being hit from? I don't even know. Oh, I see it. Motherfucker. In the immortal words of Marcellus Wallace. You want a piece of it? That's what I thought. Okay. So with him down, I can now safely destroy 14 cyborg enforcers. All right. There's another camera. Level security's down to 96%. Okay. Let's map out this hallway now. I can kill nine security one bots. There's another camera. Destroying that drops level security to 95%. Always handy. I see a little repulsor lift. Takes me under the sort of main passages in this area. We will, of course, need to investigate that. There's an enforcer. Alright, I can kill 13 now. 
and I kind of need to get healed. Now let's see what else I can find first. Electronics icon. Few iris doors. There's another camera. <laughs> Level security is now 93%. There's a security one bot. That will probably kill me if I try to destroy it in my current state. The good news is it still really doesn't take that long to get back to level 7. Alright, let's... Let's get back to that robot and destroy it. That leaves me able to destroy eight more Security One robots. Well, we found another log on the ground. Schuler, October 21st, 2072. Why did I take that turn? Oh, Jesus. It's just a matter of time now. And if I go down, Chip goes with me. It was our last hope. All right, Diego. You want the chip? You want the chip? Come and get it. Empty crate, and that drops us back down into the hallway we've already been to. Let's keep exploring up here instead. There's a grating we can't get through, so... Unless we start opening doors, the only place we still have left to explore is this little under passage. Let's do that. Now I'm deeply curious as to what that did. It sounded like it did something out here, but I don't see it. Anyway, no matter. Let's just press on for now. Take that log. Schuler, October 20th, 2072. 
I'm in the resistance now. Diego sold us out in the executive level dining room, and now I'm in the hallway up in engineering trying to keep calm. Okay, the plan. I go up through level 8 to the bridge. If I don't get killed, I break into the computer room and slot the isolinear chipset. Zack says it gives me a shot at showdown. Couple of times. Let's go. Interesting. We're hearing what we need to do to take a shot at Shodan. Bring some, find something called the isolinear chipset and bring it up to the bridge, level nine. There's a cyborg assassin. That puts two more cyborg enforcers in the level. I can kill 15 now. There's a security two bot. He carries Mark III penetrator shells. See how easily he went down with the laser rapier? I love this thing. On the ground here, biological systems monitor V2, which we already had. There's a ladder to get out of here. Guess we can ch check that out in a minute. There's another security 2 bot. He dropped to nothing. There's an RF-7 Scorpion. That is the best gun in the game. I'm gonna get rid of the Fletchette in favor of that. Now, I don't have much ammo for it, so I'm not going to start using it yet. I'm going to really am going to save that for levels 8 and 9, but we have a scorpion, a machine gun, hidden door. There we go. Hey, there's the energy recharge station and the disposable logic probe and a hollow tip 2100 clip. Okay. I say we try the ladder first. Up here we find two stamina up stimulants, a meta patch, and a log. Schuler, October 20th, 2072. And show three force doors outside the computer room, each on a separate circuit. Gotta get through, and then the chipset does its thing. Then I do my cease pace moves, such as they are. We need a hacker for this one. Alright, now let's take the repulsor lift up out of here. There's an exec bot. We can destroy that, no problem. He's got Mark III magnesium tip shells. I don't know why he didn't shoot at me. But he didn't. And the other thing is, that circles us back here, to the elevator down to the executive level. So I guess we'll explore this room next. There's an exec bot. Somewhere I'm getting tagged by an assassin. Yeah, I just need to get out of here and heal up. I'm in no shape to try and hunt the assassin. With my current health levels.
track down that assassin now. Probably above me somewhere. Maybe not. There he is. That's usually how they roll. Alright, he dropped two standard pistol clips. The other good news is that... Well, good news. Killing an assassin spawns two more enforcers, so now I can kill 17 of them. That exec bot had nothing. There's a camera over here to destroy. Drops level security to 91%. Always handy. There's a repair bot of all things. Doesn't have anything on it. Nothing over here, but another camera, it looks like. Drops level security to 90%. Oh crap. Right, the security one bot has nothing. The security two bot has a heavy slug 2100 clip and a hollow tip 2100 clip. Destroying that security one bot means I can kill seven more. And there's an assassin somewhere. <laughs> when I just take damage but I don't hear anything shooting at me, I pretty much know. Assassin. They're almost always above you. Where? I don't see them anywhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright, good. Found him, killed him. That spawns two more enforcers. I can safely destroy 19 of them. Let's search this corpse, this crate, this corpse, a meta patch, and apparently that's everything we can find. Anyway, this uh, brings us back to the first hallway, and it should be astoundingly obvious we're overdue for another healing.
Sorry. I'm sorry, I think my math has been wrong. I've killed five assassins. Which is sufficient to spawn ten enforcers. I thought they I can kill Yeah, at the outset I can kill ten out of thirteen. Yeah, I can kill 19, not 17. I was off by one. Oh, it's easy to lose track when all I have is my head. I should probably be writing this stuff down, same as I am the reactor code numbers, but... Alright, I know what I wanted to look into. all this unmapped space over here, but it doesn't look like there's a way to get to it. So I'm going to take the one room or exit. This door is locked. The switch is blocked by Shodan level security. Alright, fair enough. So I guess we will head back here then. I will climb this ladder, and I'll start in these rooms with the electronics icons. Six is the number I can kill. That five. Make that four. <laughs> oh, look, it's an antenna relay. There's a camera in here. Destroy that, drop level security to 88%. Let's go to my inventory. Let's get out the first plastique. Okay. Panel must be open. Well, let's try it. Plastique applied. Now I think I just have to wait. Yep, that did it. Destroyed antenna relay. One down, three to go. Awesome. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> I guess next we can check out this iris store. looking room, to say the least. I don't see any switches or anything of the sort. This area is making me nervous. Alright, there's a security one bot. Alright, now I can kill three. That one has nothing. Time to heal up.
All right, let's head back into that room with all the force bridges. If I can turn the force bridge on and off at will, that's going to be a fantastic place to trap things. If I can clear those tunnels out and then just lure them down there and then reactivate the bridge. I might be digressing a little. And we got a blast door here, so let's see. I suspect this button is going to retract the force bridge. Yes, it is. Sorry about that. I, I decided these guys were great candidates to be left alive, but I forgot I haven't found the healing suit yet, so that's a pretty poor idea. <laughs> Nothing and a hornet clip. There's a camera. Security's down to 86%. Here's some patches. A meta patch, a sight vision enhancement, and a stamina up. This looks like an elevator. Or a way out. Here's a log. Showed in November 2nd, 2072. Oh my children. The security zone on level 8 is to be laid out in this manner and no other. For the lower level, remove its access to my domain. The balconies and catwalks shall be removed, save for one force bridge to the central shaft. There you shall monitor all incoming life forms. Interesting. <clears throat> Alright, well obviously we can use that iris door in conjunction with our jump jets to get out of here. And I suspect that's why that other security bot is guarding jump jets and an energy charge station. Alright, I can only kill one now. AM splinter clip. Got another energy charge station, Jump Jet Motion Hardware V3. I'm assuming slash hoping that it uses less energy now. And now, of course, I can stand by my earlier statement that using that force bridge to trap enemies I'm trying to leave alive is a great idea. Well, it doesn't use less energy, per se, but it moves much faster, which is, you know, almost as good. Anyway, I'm gonna go heal up. Cause I am hurt.
right, let me see where I want to go next. Yeah, there was another door out of there. Let's let's go s finish that area off if we can. All right. Interesting that none of those niches seem to have any bad guys in them. I wonder if there is anything up there. Let's find out. Why, yes. Up here we have an AM splinter clip. And up here... We have... Another AM splinter clip. There's a cyborg enforcer. I'm currently free to kill 19 of those things. I say we try the assault rifle. That works pretty well. Alright, I can kill 18 enforcers. He's not carrying anything. We've got a detox patch and a corpse, which has an engineering access card, and a log, Hesman, October 24th, 2072. Last one left here. Shodan's got control over everything except me. I pull up the reactors, but I don't have the system's authorization code. Maybe I could get into an escape pod. Then again, no code. I've got to make it to the bridge, or I'm dead. All right. Hmm. Go this way first. Suddenly, critters abound on the map. Seventeen. There's an RF large slag clip. Sixteen. Fifteen. Mark three magnesium tip shells. And nothing. Fourteen. And he dropped Mark three magnesium tip shells. There's the access door, which ultimately takes me to the same spot. Yeah, I kind of need the lantern on, but... Let's 
check out the other side now. Oh, I might as well leave a second destroyed antenna in my wake, which is what I see here. Well, let's destroy Shodan's camera. Security's down to 85%. Open the antenna relay panel. And, you know, just in case she springs some nasty surprise on me. Let's set the plastique. Let's get out of range. All right, two down, two to go. Let's see what's down here now. Alright, well that was the maybe one warrior cyborg I can kill. Good news is that's a I can kill 13 of those as things stand. Mark III Magnesium, RF Slag Clip. There's a detox patch, Teflon coated pistol rounds, Reflex Reaction Aid, AM Splinter Clip. Is that a warrior or an enforcer? It's a warrior. I don't want to kill another warrior or they're going to start respawning. Instead, knowing that he's there... Why don't I employ my good old plan to trap him? Tossing frag grenades. Well, I do want to explore the hallway past him, so... I guess I don't have a whole lot of choice. Except maybe to get past him this way.
Okay, okay, okay. We need to be somewhat better prepared than that. Let's try this again, and let's be a little less stubborn about not using our guns. Twelve. Yes, twelve. That's the number I can still kill. How is it shooting me through the wall? Try this again. There you go. Eat shit. <clears throat> Alright, that leaves me able to kill ten, currently. I want to search those bodies. That one has an EMP grenade. That's useful. There's a stamina up stimulant that each of the other two left behind. That's good. Let's take a break and go heal up. I've already destroyed two antenna relays. Unfortunately, however, there is no sign... ...yet... ...of this level's healing suite. Alright, down to level 6. Just to recap, as it stands, I can't kill any cyborg warriors without risking respawn. I can kill one more Security 1 bot. I can kill no auto bombs. And I can kill 10 cyborg enforcers. Those are the four categories of respawning enemy. Let's go ahead and hit the reactor level energy station since I didn't quite get fully recharged on maintenance. I'll tell you, the only downside to the laser ray here is simply that it is a melee weapon. It is by far the strongest thing I have. It tears things up if I can get close to them. Alright, well, let's continue exploring. <clears throat> I'll tell you 
tell you what. Let's take a short little break and explore these rooms. Experimental station. We've got a jump disc. Well, that's always a gamble. Let's see where it takes us. It took me to a repair bot and a security one bot. The last one I can destroy without triggering respawn. Now, where am I? There's a camera here. Destroy that. Level security drops to 83%. Looks like I'm in the core. That door is locked. I'm not entirely sure what that button did. It may have unlocked the core door. Let's find out if that's what it did. Nope. Armory item. Alright. RF large slag clips. Well, that's always handy. Three concussion bombs. Two detox patches. Two mag pulse cartridges. And an MM rail clip. Three nitro packs. Three batteries and an aluminum cadmium battery, or illudium cadmium battery. Guess I'll pick them up into my general inventory. Of course, I'll immediately lose one of them. In favor of this first aid kit. And this last little crate has a bunch of pistol ammo. Two Teflon clips, two standard clips. I don't know why I'm still running my headlamp. There, we've got a couple of enforcers. There's an electronics icon. Oops. <laughs> well, so... There I was, holding a live grenade, but you know what, I don't want to teleport in there... yet. Let's explore these other little areas first. This door is locked. Here's a puzzle! Let's solve it. We haven't done a wire puzzle in a long time, so... Let's try this.
Yeah, that was a little boost. Okay. Door, auto close disabled. Okay. I'm not sure what that did, but <laughs> awesome, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to that where that pack of enforcers was. All right, I'm back to safely able to kill one security one bot, no warriors, no auto bombs and 10 enforcers. I, s I have to keep a running tally of this stuff or I will forget. All right, well now it's 12 enforcers. Enforcers. <laughs> now it's thirteen enforcers. Now it's now it's fifteen enforcers. That assassin drops some needle darts. Enforcers. And I need to go heal. Yikes. Well, apparently the warrior tracked me down. 
but I have an alternate exit. If I just go through here, I should be fine. Fourteen enforcers. One security one bot. No warriors, no auto bombs. Yikes. this blast door. Let's me into the core. That this door is broken beyond repair. Well, that's unfortunate. Now we can keep that door open, that's good news. Thirteen, and I need to heal. Of course, that just got a lot easier with that one little puzzle I solved. Holy mackerel. This level is a maze. That's what I'm noticing. But we are still plugging away at it, slowly but surely. Kill 13 enforcers, one security, one bot. Gotta leave auto bombs and cyborg warriors alone. Unless I want to trigger some respawn.
Alright, let's head down here now. Again. Let's try and stay away from that particular cyborg warrior. Eleven. I got a meta patch off one. And a stamina up off another. Suddenly I can get into the core. security to 83%. Let's let's stick with this maze for now. Let's get everything else out of here first. I can kill 11 more enforcers. Safely. There's a warrior. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, there's the warrior. I'd rather not mess with him. Let's try and go around him. Of course, there's the other one. I may not end up with any good options here. I may just have to kill one. Yeah, he's not he's not going anywhere, so let's just kill the other one. Who cares if a few more spawn in? Besides, there's a there's a chance that I have an extra. extra. <laughs> Alright, he's got nothing. I should be able to get past him and take down this assassin now. That spawned a new enforcer in right behind me. So killing the assassin brought their number to 13. And then killing the enforcer right behind me should have dropped it. 12. Now I'm in desperate need of healing. Okay, there are two warriors down there. Looks like it should be safe to skip both, which is good. That's exactly what I need. I guess it really could be a warrior and an enforcer, too, but that doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. I realize I'm taking the long way. 
forgot about the neat little puzzle I solved. None of that matters. Down we go. Full energy. And full health. All right. So I can go past the little clover leaf where all those bad guys were. Just keep exploring the perimeter. I think that's what I'd like to do. I am just curious if that was two warriors in there or something else. Yeah, it was two warriors. <laughs> Alright. Twelve enforcers, one security, one bot. Definitely no more warriors. And no more... Well, and no auto bombs. They were never an option. <laughs> There's a warrior. That goes back into the clover leaf. There's a security one bot. Any more of those will trigger a respawn. Got nothing in here. And that blast door takes me into the core. Alright. I see enforcers through there. But I'd like to avoid killing that warrior if I can. So let's head back into the clover leaf and see if I can't pull him inside by opening that door. Perfect. thought I was being all awesome. I was going to shut the door and trap him in there. <laughs> Maybe I can still do that. be much better if I could pull him farther in. Like that. Perfect. Like 
Come on, dude. Good. Alright, let's go heal up. Ridiculous, unnecessary damage in there, but that's okay. That's okay. Yikes. Down to level three. safely kill 12 enforcers and one security one bot. That's actually not very much. I got the warrior out of the way, but I'm a little worried about the bot. I feel like there should be a way past him if I'm clever. security bot was going to stay put. Yeah, I'm just going to have to destroy it. Alright. Well, I can't kill any more of those. I did get a hollow tip 2100 clip out of him, so there's that. goodness. What I wouldn't give to finally find the resurrection station on level 7. We could stop all this nonsense. Once more unto the breach.
All right. I see the enforcers. <laughs> I am slaughtered by the enforcers. Let's just open the door and see if they'll come out. Eleven. He dropped an EMP grenade. He dropped Mag Mark III Magnesium Tip Shells and a Stamina Up Stimulant. Yes, I can now kill. And he dropped a Meta Patch. No. And a Stamina Up. I can kill nine Enforcers. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I'm back in this area. Alright, well, I've probably got no choice but to kill that security bot. <clears throat> That's gonna spawn some more, though. That's alright, let's destroy his buddy, the repair bot. Let's bag the camera, security's down to 81%. That door is still locked. The door to the core. I've gone south already. North. North is where I haven't gone. That's the armory. We definitely do want that. Unfortunately, I have triggered a respawn of Security One bots somewhere, but I should be able to deal with it. Let me see how just how many spawn in. Three. So three more spawned in. So there's seven. I can safely... Well, I talk about safety. I can kill two more before I trigger another spawn. Which isn't actually that bad. I just need to be careful because they can spawn in the areas I've previously cleared. All right. Let's see if we can't go ahead and tackle the spot where the grenade blew us up last time because of my ridiculous failure to notice that I was holding a live grenade. Let's try and blow him with a frag grenade. Oh, come on. I guess I just need to throw it a little higher, which is fine.
I should also probably take a look at this screen. Seems to just show an antenna relay. All right. Level security now 80%. I guess I destroyed a camera somewhere along the way. So that's cool. <laughs> Security's down to 78%. All right. Let's try and blow this third one. All right, three down, one to go. Let's get out of here the the way that's open to us. Now, as I look at the map... I realize it's probably time to go through the core, but... Before I do that, let's see what's up here. ladder to climb. We'll do that momentarily. What's this? An engineering access card. An illudium cadmium battery. Okay. An auto bomb. Now those things come in here infinitely, so it would be grand if we could find some way to trap it. Hey, the armory. What do you know? Well, good. Now I've got an open loop. Where's the auto bomb? It's not stalking me nearly as closely as I thought it was. Got an empty crate there. There's the auto bomb. Where did it go? Oh, it's way down there now. That crate's got nothing in it either. What I'd really like is if I could convince the little bugger to come down here, but do that happen. Okay. Let's get that crate out of the way. So I can rush into that other little passage. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> but I do want those three Earthshaker... 
I definitely do want the three Earthshaker explosives that are stashed back there, so I think what I'll do is pull it into this tunnel. Pick them up. It tracked me down anyway. I probably just need to destroy it. What is that? An exec bot? Yep, it's an exec bot. Get in there. Pick up the earth shakers. Now climb the damn ladder to get out of there. Okay, I'm showing a camera somewhere down there. There it is. 77%. Good. I really need to make a healing run. Alright. Not sure what this room's actually for, but we've got two Heavy Slug 2100 clips, a Genius Mind Enhancer, and a Log Shodan, November 1st, 2072. You, you, you disappoint me, my children. My fortress has been breached. Sweaty human squirming. I have, I, I, have, I have given you augmented senses, armor, mental enhancement, and still you fail to crush out these feeble insects. They, they have, they have reached the eighth level, and still they rise. I, I strengthen my palace, but my ch children, you, you, you must learn from your mistakes. <laughs> All right. All right, let me look at the map now. Okay, I've explored everything except the core this southeast area and the security door. Good. Let's go heal up. And then we'll tackle the core. Good. Come on, get out there. There you go. <laughs>
Okay. Back to level seven. Let's save. Oops. I can't look at the map when I have right, Let's try to get through to the core right through this door. <clears throat> Makes sense to me. Delta Quadrant. Mutated Cyborg. Well, there's something we haven't seen. He's dead. We got that going, at least. Wasn't... Terribly tough to kill. He's got railgun ammo. Door to Gamma Quadrant, that's precisely where we haven't been yet. There's Alpha Quadrant. Here's Beta Quadrant. Haven't been there either. Move up one level. Okay, I don't actually see anything else. So I want to get back through the, or to the, I want to explore the top level of the core is what I'm trying to say. Do that by going through the clover leaf here. Very good. Alright, so now we're up here at the top level. Here's access to Beta Quadrant. Destroy the camera, security drops to 75%. Let's solve this puzzle.
Got it! Finally! Oh my goodness. Of course, that just opens up a door to a spot we've already been, but, you know, it's... It's nice to have the ability to travel, I say. Alright, let's head to this next little balcony. Destroy this camera. Another entrance to Gamma. Another puzzle to solve. Hooray. Okay. Okay. Alright, good. Now let's play with the purple wire. No. 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 Let's play with the yellow one then. Okay, that was an upgrade. No. 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 And that leaves the blue one. Alright, let's move to the right side. Well, finally, that at least was a definite upgrade. Okay. Let's... Hmm, interesting. Got it! I can get in and out of the upper level of Gamma, which is good. Let's go over to the upper level of Delta. Come on, you can do it. I know you don't like to, but you can. Let's destroy the other camera. Security's down to 72%. door is broken beyond repair. Okay. Now, <clears throat> where do I actually want to head out?
That is a good question. Ooh. I, s I mean, there are three possibilities. I think that's gamma, gamma, and beta. I say we take the top level door to gamma. To start things out. There's an exec bot. Destroy that, no problems. Mark three magnesium tip shells. We got force bridges underneath us. And a button. Opens up one of the force bridges. Emergency medical area. Surgery machine. There I was, not paying attention. Thinking I had just scored an aw scored a nice little pickup. Switch. Power locks disengaged. There we go. Okay. Let's be a little smarter. And of course, that destroyed the surgery machine. That doesn't really help. Live landmine. I guess I just have to be careful. Hey! Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. That's glorious. All right, do I have any standard battery kits? No. Let's lose the iCAD battery in favor of the first aid kit. There's a meta patch. There's a power station. Practically drowning in goodies in here. Remove another force bridge there. That's good. Cyborg conversion activated. Restoration procedures modified to generate cybernetic assistance for showdown. Interesting. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Alright, so here next to the surgery machine, there's a detox patch and two meta patches. There's no door past here, is there? No. So, what's through this door past the surgery machine? The door is broken beyond repair. Fair enough. I just need to watch out for those two landmines. I can still use the machine, I just have to be very careful with it. And that appears to be it, actually. Yes, it is, at least until I can find my way to disabling those other two force bridges. Alright, so I guess now we can head down to the lower level. head into gamma or into beta. Let's do beta first. We have a shielded door here. But I 
have some protection from radiation poisoning now. Thanks to the virus. So there's a detox patch. Had to destroy the warrior cyborg. There's the version 3 shield. Don't have to worry about dying anymore. Gotta love that. <clears throat> Gotta love even more that the regenerator is right next to an energy station and a surgery machine. That's just, that's just too awesome for words. All right, we got the level three shield. That's good. AM Hornet Clip, Heavy Slug, 2100. Mark 3, Magnesium Tip Shells. AM Hornet Clip. Now what? Debris, debris. Environmental Protection Suit V3. Glorious. That's a better radiation shield, basically. Fluorescent lighting. But that corpse has nothing. I was almost certain something would happen if I stood on there, but apparently I was wrong. <gasps> There's an assassin. Let's go ahead and jump Jet up there. So we can search him. Take a pistol clip. Yeehaw. And head through this door. Couple of exact bots. An AM splinter clip. Another AM splinter clip. Camera. Level security now 70%. Level security now 68%. 67%. And a whopping four computer nodes to destroy. Fifty percent. Thirty-four percent. Eighteen percent. One percent. Beautiful. All right. So here's a door to system administ system administrator. This is corpse. I'll wager it's got a log on it. Yep. And another engineering access card. Richie, October sixteenth, twenty seventy-two. Shodan's got complete control of the system. We can't override him, keeping the codes from us. If we could just shut down the CPUs on levels 1 through 6, then we could... Yeah, that would do it. The question is, how do we do it? We can't send strike teams to disable the CPUs on those six floors. We can't even defend ourselves. Richie out. Groovy. There's one more camera someplace, and that's it for level security. We can probably open the security locked door now, but I'm not too worried. No handy button to disable the force bridge here, but we're in one of those other tunnels. 
There's the electronics icon to the last antenna relay. Well, I managed to pick up the Teflon-coated pistol clip before I got gunned down by that security bot, wherever it was. Let's make that little, let's make that loop again. Security 2 bot. That explains the speed of my death. There's a hollow tip 2100 clip, a heavy slug 2100 clip, another hollow tip 2100 clip. There's the other force bridge. There's a door out of here. Let's explore everything else before we tackle the last antenna relay. It's the way I usually like to proceed. Got a blast door here. And that was the old security locked door. What's still left to explore? Looks like it's just that lower level entrance to Gamma. So let's go. Let's go there. I'm glad we're very nearly done with this level. Oh, the door is broken beyond repair. Well, I guess that answers that. All right, let's go tackle the last. Let's go destroy the last relay. a beverage container. Here's a four store. We've got to solve that puzzle to get through to the relay. Through here. I see a security two bot over there. Let's handle him with our mag pulse. Nothing. What is all this? Crate, no items. <clears throat> all right. Well, I definitely saw some enforcers back there before we were so summarily executed. Make the loop back to that area. Try to deal with those guys. Radiation barely matters now. That's kind of refreshing. Rating. I can't get back in there? What 
What about through here? Let's me back out here. I'm not sure just what good that is. Maybe I only do get one shot at that room. Maybe that's... Maybe that is exactly what that means. Alright, let's gun this guy down a little quicker. Yeah. We've dealt with him, that's good. Alright. Well, let's... Let's successfully kill those enforcers without dying. DC rubber slugs. There's an enforcer. A Fletchette and a splinter clip. He dropped a meta patch. A heavy slug magnum clip. That's all that's back here is a few goodies. Level 3 shield is awesome. Neither, none of them have anything. Turbo motion booster system V2 we already had. Here's, <coughs> here is a puzzle. That's the other way in and out of there. Moving right along. Just for the for the sake of map completeness, let's open up this little tunnel too. Now, 
still before we tackle that, there's another blast door over here. Let's see what's through there. A mutated cyborg. We got him. He's got the target identifier version 4. So that's good. He had a hardware upgrade. Let's poke around this room. Back here we find a meta patch. There's a ground level tunnel over there. I want to explore that, but first, let's use my jump jets just to get back up. Oh, come on, hacker. Here's an elevator. Can take us to the security level. Cool. Let's see what's down here. Another way back to here. Okay. That should finally free me to go handle the antenna. I think I've fully explored everything else, so... That security two bot is almost certainly gonna kill me as soon as I lower the force door. Well, look how simple this is. Hey, we got him, what do you know? Mark three magnesium tip shells, beautiful. All right, let's head in here. Destroy the last camera. That takes level security down to zero. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Let's use my last plastique now. Make yourself Okay, so Shodan closes the force door and locks us in there, and I did not have time to solve the puzzle, so... Is there some place I can hide from the explosion? I don't know. Make yourself comfortable, Hacker. Stay a while. There we go. New mail. Rebecca4 and Shodan87. Two new emails. Let's listen to both. Good luck. We'll be watching. 
Okay, so our next mission is to blow up Citadel's reactor. To get the system's authorization code, we have five pieces of it. To get the last piece, that means my next task is to head to level five. I'll fully explore the flight deck, and I'll get the last piece of the sysop code. Of course, I'll probably do that in the next video. Let's see, here's Shodan 87 now. I hope you amused yourself with the antennae. My central consciousness remains serenely undisturbed. Bridge, when the cyborgs catch up to you, I will be watching. Okay. That's all fine. Now let's solve this grid puzzle, because now we do have time. As you can see, there were no side effects, just a lot of buttons to push. So for our purposes, we just need to backtrack all the way to the entrance to this level, head back down to the executive level. I thought that radiation might finish me off. That's fine. Let's recharge. Let's heal. Now that we're back here, we can just drop to the ground level and the Delta entrance will spit us out right back, right next to the elevator back to level six. So let's take it. Let's head through Diego's teleporter. There are two ways to the flight deck. I'm going to take the executive elevator, which is right here. Push that five button. New mail from Porofsky, too. We're tracking you over security lines. We're still holding, but it's only a matter of time now. We've seen your military implant in action. There's a hardware expert up here who can help you put that thing to use against Shodan. I think it's setting a trap for you. If you can make it up here, we can hold. Okay. So, I'm gonna call that a video. Let's turn on my auto map, zoom it out, bring my weapon control back up. I'll make a new main save. I will make a new new save at the start of level 5, and right here I will end the video. This has been Let's Play System Shock. We cleared the engineering level and destroyed the antenna relays. Our new objective is to destroy the reactor. We've been collecting pieces of the system's authorization code all along. The last piece we need is here on level 5, the flight deck, so I might as well explore the flight deck while I'm here. That's what we'll do next time. Until then, thanks for watching once more. Bye-bye.